Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm doing another fabric haul video today, so if you want to see what's in this bag, please stay tuned. I'm very excited to share um, this fabric haul with you. This bag, I actually purchased it. I had to go back and look at my receipt. Um, I actually got it in April, so like a little over a month ago, I, um, I went to the store and got these fabrics, but I have not opened the bag since then. So to be honest, this is kind of like Christmas because I'm not 100% sure what's in the bag. Um, this is from a place called Fabric World in Stone Mountain, Georgia. And the way I ended up there was because one of my friends uh, said that they were going out of business. I checked online today and they were open today. So, um, so far they have not gone out of business. It is a, um, like a home decor, um, home decor fabric, uh, lots of different types of fabrics, um, there and at a pretty good value. So you can see that I filled this bag up and even though it was an impromptu trip, um, I did keep my usual sewing um, and quilting um, saying if I see it and it's pretty I'm gonna get it and thankfully I was able to get um, these things at a pretty good value so uh, the I think I said it's in Stone Mountain Georgia if I didn't say that Fabric World is in Stone Mountain Georgia I'll put the um, the address here I'm not sure if they have a website I will go check and if they have a website I will also list it here as well so here we go when I went, they had, um, like, basically it looked like the whole store was on sale. And so, um, everything I got, it was a pretty good deal. Since it was a month ago, I don't remember the exact prices. But I will share what I got, and I'll just give you a quick sneak peek in there. Ooh, it's a lot. So, we're going to, um, just kind of go a little bit at a time. When I first walked in there, they had some pillows on sale, like pillow forms. I didn't get any of those. Um, one of the first things that caught my eye was uh, some African fabrics. And so I'll show you what I ended up getting. Let's see. There's several of these. Let me look and make sure they're not anymore. All right, so I'll just hold these up so that you can get a glimpse of them. I actually, when I went with when I went to Fabric World, one of my friends was like, hey, FaceTime me. Oh, I don't have an iPhone, but video call me. And so I video called her. And so I ended up um, getting two sets of things at a time. I got some stuff that she wanted, and then I got some stuff that I wanted. But these African uh, fabrics, these were uh, the ones that I liked, but they had several there. So I just... Love the colors and love the patterns. So here's the next one. And then the last one. And I wish that I could remember how much they were a yard. And I think that I got two yards of each of these. I won't, I won't pull it out because then I would have to fold it back. So I'm not going to pull it out. I think I got two yards of each one of those. Now everything else in here... Um, they had a deal where if you get five, well, okay, first of all, there's like a gazillion bins, like fabric just sitting in bins, like little, um, like small cuts, not like a yard or over, but just smaller cuts of fabric. And each of the cuts, they had, it said $2 or $3 per piece, something like that. But then it said for every five, you get three free. Okay, so um, I ended up looking through a lot of the bins and getting whatever I thought was pretty. Okay, so I'm going to show these a little bit at a time. Actually, I think I'm going to um, stop the video here because I may want to arrange them by color first and then we can just go one color at a time. So let me do that and I will be right back. When I went into the store, I don't really remember if I was specific about... Um, certain colors um, especially because I didn't know what to expect but if you look at what I picked here um, this is my basic color palette 
Um, I love blue, and so a lot of this is blue. I love neutrals, so a lot of this is neutral. And then I got a little bit of green and a little bit of, this is like brownish. And then I got some um, gray and black. I only got one red and I only got one yellow. So I guess we'll start with these to get them out of the way. All right, here's my red. And I'm sure that um, a month ago there was like, I was like, I have something that I could use this for. And I do my, um, my great grandmother's quilt is kind of, is definitely vintage. And so maybe this can fit into that once I learn how to hand piece. Okay, the yellow, I'm sure I was just drawn to it because it's so bright and cheery. And it, it's a nice, it's a batik, so I like it. And even, even though batiks are not like my favorite thing, there are several batiks in here. All right, so next, oh, and I will say that this was like Christmas because I was like opening and I went, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I, because I just like them so much. Um, these are a few novelties that I found. Um, one of my friends asked for some skull fabric in like a zipper pouch. And so, wait, it's upside down. All right, so I found a couple of um, sugar skulls. And um, so I know these will make some good pouches. I do have some skull fabric that I got from um, from Joann's. I just haven't made the zipper pouch yet, but it's on my list of things to do. Okay, um, this, this is like a little woodsy something something. Let's see if it has a good selvage on it. Um, and one thing about, oh, this is Michael Miller. Um, let's see if it has a name on it. It says Foxtrot. So it's really nature inspired. And one thing that I like about these fabrics is that they're, uh, they're really quality fabrics. They're just like off cuts of something. Okay, um, the green is next and I, I have less of this, so I'll show these. Here's another batik but it's that nice lime green and it's nice, I like it. All right, and then here's a stripe in the same kind of colors. And then um, this one here, I was just kind of drawn to it. It's a sort of a tone on tone kind of piece. Let's see, so I don't know. It'll, it could be like a nice uh, medium neutral, something like that. All right, now we'll go to the, um, my blues keep falling over because there's so many of them. Let's look at these black and grays. So this one is, um, it has music notes all over it and I do teach music, it's kind of my jam. So um, I like this one. And then um, these are some lighter neutrals that I found, like some grays. And I kind of separate the black and gray from the, um, what I consider the light neutrals because it's just different. You'll see when I show you. Okay, here's another batik in gray. And then um, here's another one. And actually when I saw this, I'm, um, I definitely want to look at using this as a possible sashing for my beginner sampler quilt. I gotta put it next to it and see if it's gonna work. But um, I'm, I'm interested to, to explore this as an option. And this is from a line called Farm Fresh Collection by Michael Miller. Pretty cute. All right, now if we're getting to the good stuff, I guess we'll call it the good stuff. Uh, these, I'm gonna save the blues for last because I think they're my favorite. Let's do these light, light neutrals. And some of these could be considered like novelty. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use them. I just saw them and they were pretty and so I bought them. Um, and again, it was like five, um, for whatever price per piece, maybe $2 and then three free. So it's like you get each one for, I don't know, not a lot of money. Okay. So, and my friend, she was much, uh, much more frugal. Like she only looked for the really big pieces. I was not as concerned about that. I was just looking. All right, so here's what, it's a light neutral, but it's also novelty. It has little tractors all over it. Real cute, really cute. All right, this one has bikes on it and you can see like it's not a very wide piece of fabric, but look at those bikes. They are adorable. Okay, and that one, let's see what it's called. It doesn't say, it just says Maywood Studios, but really cute. 
All right, here's another one. I think this is a, well, it looks like a batik. I'm not 100% sure. And it could go with my blues. I haven't decided yet. All right, and then these are some really light tone on tones. This one has little bubbles all over it. Let's see if it has a name on it. It doesn't. Not, I don't know how well you can see it. I'm kind of flicking it in the wind. Oh, no, it's inside out. Let me flip it. There we go. Hopefully you can see it. It's little, little bubbles on it. Okay. Then this one, it's the same way as inside out. But I'm trying to see if the selvage says something. It doesn't. It's just a, I don't know. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. But it's just like little dots, but they make like little wavy lines or something. So it's going to be really nice. And then here's one and it has little butterflies over it. And it's gold and like a little teal blue or something. It's nice. And then this one has a little basket weave. Let's see if it has a name. I don't see a name. Okay, but you can see the basket weave there. Pretty cool. And then here's another one. Oh, I really like this one with these little flowers on it. So cute. Let's see if this one has a name. It says, oh, this is a Lori Holt um, fat pattern. It says, uh, Granny Chic. I think that's what it says. Okay. Then there's this one. This is a little tiny piece, but... I saw it, it was really cute. It has little pattern pieces on it. Like little dress, little irons, real cute. Then we have, this one looks like it's inside out. Let me see. I can't tell. Let's see. And it doesn't say anything in the selvage. So it's just a, a tone on tone. It sort of looks like the grunge, but I don't think it is. Okay, this one has little different colored stars on it. It's so cute. Let me see what this one is. It says Riley Blake, but I don't know who the designer is, but I like it. And then here's one. This one could go in the grays or the blues. And then this one, it says, let nature sing. Oh, it's a big piece too. Okay, so it'll be a nice um, creamy neutral. And then the last one has seashells. Or like, a, not seashells, sand dollars. Okay, so these are the, the light neutrals. Now we're going to the blues. And I am uh, partial to navy blue right now. Um, oh. But I love almost all blues. So here we go. I'll try to go fast, but you know how it is. All right, so this is one of the glamping um, vintage camping. So it has a little campers on it. Oh, it's so cute. And so like you can see that every time I was like, so cute. And so it was like Christmas. This one is, I don't know if it, oh, it's, it's called Tiki Bar. And let's see, they're upside down, but you can see them, all the little um, drinks and the little tiki cups and all that, so cute. It looks like summer vacation. Here is another one. Oh, I might put this in a stack for my, um, as a possibility for my beginner sampler too. I'm gonna set that aside because that's really cute. And then here's my, here's a tealy one. Let's see if it has a name. 
it says hugs and basically hugs basically hugs that's what it says all right here's another one this is from dear stella i don't know the name of the fabric line i'm just trying to check it to see you know it doesn't have a um it doesn't have a the a name and here's another blue i really like this one spot on robert kaufman what else this one oh this one has little paws on it oh my goodness it's called it's from i guess the line is woody wonderland has little paws on it and then here's some um batiki type fabrics here's one purple and blue um here's the navy blue and then this one is variegated it has lots of different um colors on it so really nice and then we have this one it's called who's who <laughs> and it has little owls on it so cute and then this one has di several different blues let's see it doesn't have a name no it doesn't have like a name it's timeless treasures though all right and then the last one this one is called stargazers okay and i just like all of the colors in this one i think it's really pretty so this was my um fabric haul from fabric world in stone mountain um i liked going up there even though i had never been it was my first time um hopefully it'll be somewhere that i can check out again soon um but i have to have you have to have time when you go in there because you sort of want to go through all of the bins and see what you can come up with especially since they were at what i considered a pretty good deal um if you have any questions about what you've seen in this video please leave them in the comments below thumbs up this video share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye